Hi my little brush of flies, welcome back to my channel Brush of Fly MUA. Today's video is about an event I went to at the weekend, the Glamour Weekender. I have some photos to share with you guys but also stay tuned till the end to see what I got in my goodie bag. I hope you enjoyed seeing the photos that I took at the event which was up in London's Covent Garden. Very awesome, I loved it, got to see a great talk with some really cool people but the interesting part is always the goodie bag so I did enjoy the treatments and everything I had there but the goodie bag just made the day, it was such a good value for money. So yeah, like the bag, sponsored by Layby. But let's go in so the first thing i got was a dash water so it's like a fizzy water which is raspberry flavor but they use wonky raspberries that the supermarkets don't want in their normal raspberry trays then there is a nux like face skin hair oil i got three of these samples i'm gonna be putting one into my future giveaway so keep an eye on that then I got a newspaper all about the brand Say and they also included a glowy super gel primer. I will of course be testing that out very soon. Then there's some sweets by Candy Kittens which is a palm oil free sweetie bag. Very yummy, does taste like watermelon, my kids loved it. Then we got a buttermilk caramel nugget, I can't say that properly, bar, tastes like Milky Way, very yum. Then it was a brand I've never heard of before. So this is 1999. it's meant to be a Canadian brand and they do makeup that has multiple uses. So it says on this it has like six ways to use this. So it is a red pencil in the shade Rosa and what you do is you can use it as a lip liner, a lipstick, an eyeliner, a blush. So you know it's a multiple use product which I think is really really interesting. I am going to be doing a video on this sometime in the future so I can see whether it does actually work in multiple ways. I thought that would be a really really cool thing to do. Next up I have a Vita Coco Coconut Hair Mask. 
I've not used this brand before and I'm really interested in trying it because my hair at the moment with chemicals like from hair dye, straightening, winter weather and central heating, it's just, it's fried. So I most definitely need to use this, so I will very soon. Then I, oops, I just dropped something, got my hands on a Paula's Choice Exfoliate BHA Liquid Exfoliant 2%. My husband swears by this and is so pleased I have a huge bottle. So yeah, I will try this. Then I have a duck and dry fine feathers shampoo for fine hair. I have really fine flyaway hair as well as crispy hair. So really interested in trying this out. Then I have a Juvederm Beauty Decoded eye mask. I don't know whether I'll use this, but you know, it's a nice thing to add. Then there is some love corn, it's barbecue or smoked barbecue. Just tastes like pork scratchings. That's all I can say about that one. Then we have a Pixie Vitamin Makeup Mist. I have used Pixie before, I really like it. So I'm happy to try this one out. I don't buy from them often though. Then there is a Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara. I have obviously been testing out the Bare Minerals Foundation, if you can hear a cough, that's my child in the background, um, and I love that. So I'm really interested in trying this out, especially because I need to find a mascara that I love. At the moment, me and mascaras are not getting on. Then there is an IT Cosmetics Brow Pencil, it's called Brow Power. So this I actually really like. The packaging feels really weighty, feels really good quality. The only problem is I hate doing my eyebrows. Um, so this is like an universal taupe. You twist the top, the product comes out. It's a nice shade, can be used for a lot of people, which I think is really, really good. And then at the other end, there is your usual spoolie which I'm really, really happy about because, you know, I can use that with or without the actual product. But this is the gem of the bag. So this is an eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. Take me back to Brazil. I say eyeshadow, but it's actually a pressed pigment palette, which means a lot of this is just pure pigments and it will stain your eyes. But I'm so happy. You know me, if you've watched my channel before, me and eyeshadow palettes. I love them. I adore eyeshadow palettes. That's my thing. So I'm really, really happy about this. Really interested in trying it out. So there will be a future video solely on this eyeshadow palette. So yeah, I'm so happy. I love the packaging. Isn't it just stunning? So that is it for the goodie bag. There's meant to be £158 worth of stuff in here. And it was free with your ticket, which was £20 or £15 if you had a code. But I did buy a few things as well. So I treated myself to some more Paula's Choice. And this is the Hydrating Gel to Cream Cleanser. I've only used it once, so I can't really comment very much on it. Seems nice. Doesn't really have a scent to it. Then I have the Moisturiser. This seems nice. Again, doesn't really have a scent, but it goes well under my makeup, so I like it so far. Then I have a calming lotion. Again, seems nice, but I've only used it once, so I can't really comment. I managed to get all three of these for £15. They are minis. <laughs> My child is doing silly things in the background. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to try this brand. So the next one is London Grace. So this is a nail varnish brand. They did my manicure for me on the day. Excuse my granny hands. So I bought two shades. I bought the purple one, which is Cara, and the top coat, which is Pearl. It is actually really stunning. It's really glittery, sparkly. They actually really remind me of Nails Inc, which was at the Glamour Beauty Festival a couple of years ago, back in 2019. But I mean, I really love the color of that purple shade. It's, it's stunning. So happy to try those. So those were what I got, what I bought, I had so much fun and I did try some food while I was there as well. 
So there was a company called Island Poke and they did like some sushi food. So I just want to give them a quick mention because it was really yum and I did enjoy it. But yeah, I had so much fun. I hope you have enjoyed this video, seeing what I got up to at the Glamour Weekender and seeing what was in my goodie bag. If there's any more events from Glamour, I am most definitely going to go because it was awesome. So yeah, hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.